Hey, it's Josie with Affirmation Pod, where I'm here to help you live in self-love. If you're new here, welcome. If you came back for more, welcome back. This episode is publishing on December 16th, 2020. I want to give a big shout out to Karenna Meredith, and I hope I pronounced your name right. Thank you for taking the time to tag me on your article in Pop Sugar. The title is Gabrielle Union swears by this podcast when she needs motivation to work out. I feel like I need to go to one of the old episodes on accepting compliments because Gabrielle speaks so kindly and sweetly about me in the article. One line does say, although Union doesn't know Ong personally, she feels like they share a connection through the affirmation pod. Well, Gabrielle girl, one day I'm down for a workout with you. Bands, bench, bars. It'd be so much fun. By the way, if you don't know who Gabrielle Union is, and I say this because I had mentioned her to a couple of my old therapist colleagues, and they had no clue who she is, so I suggest looking her up in Time Magazine's list of most influential people of 2020. But back to the Pop Sugar article, I'm going to link to it in the episode notes. The episodes listed in the article are also in the show notes. Now to today's episode. It's called Managing Frustrating Situations. It's dedicated to those of you who've shared with me, you get the value of setting boundaries to prioritizing self-care and limiting the stress in your life. But there are situations where it's not that easy to draw lines with sources of frustration. One listener shared how her mother has dementia and how frustrating it can be and how helpless she can feel. Another listener who requested this is the mother of a special needs child, and she's battling some really intense emotions as well as lack of self-care. And one more situation I wanted to mention from a listener who's transitioning to become full owner of a family business, but in the transition time, there's a lot of dynamics at work that are both painful and frustrating. Of course, as we face life, especially in the face of challenges, it's hard to prioritize ourselves even when we know our mental health and well-being are critical for showing up for yourself as well as your loved ones. I'm grateful I can share a service dedicated to helping you nourish your mental health and well-being. It's Talkspace, and Talkspace is the sponsor of this episode today. Talkspace offers online therapy. You can send and receive unlimited messages with your therapist. I remember using Talkspace long before I was ever in talks with them sponsoring my podcast. It was the middle of the night. I needed to express what I was feeling and why I was feeling it. So I was putting it in a message for my therapist. And instead of having to wait days or longer to see my therapist and get her response, with Talkspace, I knew the next day she would be replying. It made my connection stronger with her, knowing she was with me as I was going through the emotions. One month of Talkspace costs about the same amount as a one-hour in-person session. They've got thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties. These include depression, anxiety, substance abuse, trauma, anger management, and relationship issues. Talking to friends is so different from talking to a licensed therapist. Talkspace gives us the support we need at an affordable price. I'm happy to share that as a listener of Affirmation Pod, you get $100 off your first month of Talkspace. So to match with your licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com or download the Talkspace app. Make sure to use code AFFIRMATION to get $100 off your first month. This also lets Talkspace know that you appreciate them sponsoring Affirmation Pod. Again, it's $100 off your first month of Talkspace using code AFFIRMATION at Talkspace.com. And now here's Affirmations for Managing Frustrating Situations. I understand why I'm doing this. I understand why I've chosen this and I understand why I'm stressed out right now. This is so frustrating. Even the simple things are so difficult. What is this situation trying to show me? It's such a challenge. And it drains me of so much energy. They don't get it. 
and I keep bumping up against it. I know in other situations, it would be bye-bye and I could leave. But here, there's more factors involved, more motivations involved, and I choose to stay. I choose to stay in what can give me such frustrating moments. And yes, I choose to stay in a situation where it feels like it's driving me insane. I take deep breaths. I plan for how I'm going to show up in frustrating situations. What do I need to remember? What do I need to do? How do I need to take care of myself? What helps me release the tension and the frustration? I continue a deep inhale and a deep exhale. I think of the bigger picture and how things look from here. I reflect on what I can truly let go of and how I can decrease the stress on me. I courageously look at what my expectations are and how I can adjust them. I hold myself when I'm tempted to react and give myself time to think before I speak. This situation is frustrating and needs me to be firm on what I will and won't tolerate. I have a safety plan of when and how I can take a break and then come back in a better headspace. When I'm feeling less heated about this, I recall what happened, what I did, what I can do better, and what I did really well. I bring in wisdom on how I can manage the frustrations. I am rooted in my strength and power. I am able to do the hard things and to have the hard conversations. I can take this frustrating situation and give myself safe channels of release and safe spaces to come back to myself. I feel a lot of emotions here. There's a lot to sort out. And yes, for now, I'm committed to being in this situation. And as frustrating as it can be, I am still very much here for me. I notice the frustrations. They are so real. 
I feel the sensations in my body and watch the emotions rise and subside. I am feeling the frustration and giving myself the space and time for another perspective, another approach, and another understanding. I observe what I'm feeling I observe what I'm facing and I observe what I'm finding. I'm here for myself. And I'm here to help myself. As I take this path, I am good and true to me. That is my gift for you today. This episode is in the stress management category of the Affirmation Pod app. The app is free on the Apple, Amazon, and Google Play app stores. You also have the option of unlocking the premium content, which is the episode's add an announcement free. Premium Access members also get bonus episodes. There's over 50 of them now that you won't hear on this podcast. The latest one that published this week is called Managing Urges. You can become a Premium Access member by going to affirmationpodpremium.com. That's affirmationpodpremium.com. And don't forget to check out Pop Sugar's short but super sweet article featuring the fabulous and inspiring Gabrielle Union. That's at affirmationpod.com slash popsugar. Again, it's at affirmationpod.com slash pop sugar. Thank you so much for listening to Affirmation Pod today. Now go be you, know you, and love you. This is Josie with Affirmation Pod. Bye for now.